stage, the rover had already outlived its original mission tenfold. Victoria was also unlike any crater Opportunity had seen before. At 730 metres across, it was by far the largest and deepest depression on its journey. Most importantly, its steep walls exposed layers of ancient Martian bedrock. For planetary scientists, this was priceless. Bedrock holds the preserved record of Mars's past, the very clues Opportunity had been searching for since the beginning, and visually, Victoria was stunning. Against the otherwise flat and featureless plains, this yawning pit with its jagged cliffs looked like a window into the planet's hidden history. In preparation for this new exploration site, mission controllers on Earth uploaded a fresh set of instructions into Opportunity Systems. For the first time, the rover could decide on its own whether to send back an image, extend its robotic arm to examine a rock, or even avoid obstacles without waiting for commands from Earth. This was more than just convenience. It was a solution to the painful delay in communication. At its furthest distance, the signal between Earth and Mars could take over 40 minutes to travel one way. Imagine having to drive a car where every action took 